Good morning, everyone, and thank you to Dr. Stern and the organizing committee for giving us an opportunity to present our work here today. My name is Sunaj Punan from the Desai Sethi Urology Institute at the University of Miami, and I'm going to be speaking to you about integrated diagnostics for monitoring prostate cancer during active surveillance. These are my disclosures. So as we all know, active surveillance has been on the rise. And in the past, we used to reserve it for men with just low volumes of low-risk tumors. Now we're following much more men with higher volumes of low-risk tumors, as well as favorable intermediate-risk tumors. And while doing this, we're trying to de-escalate the intensity of surveillance so it's less burdensome to men. And we do this primarily by trying to reduce the frequency of serial biopsies. And we have a few different tools that we use to help us with that. One of these are molecular tissue-based prognostic signatures that can help us get a better sense of the true biology of the disease that the Gleason score may not tell us about and better risk stratify patients. This was a study looking at the decipher genomic classifier in the music cohort. And you can see men with a low and intermediate risk decipher are denoted by the blue curve, while men with a high risk decipher are denoted by the red curve. And you can see here that men with high-risk deciphers are more likely to be treated or spend less time on surveillance compared to men with a low decipher. Now, the one limitation in this study is that the providers and the patients were aware of the decipher score. So it's not clear whether it was the high decipher that was driving treatment or there was an actual increase in progression in one group versus the other that drove treatment. Another tool at our disposal is MRI. And we do use this quite a bit during surveillance to help, at least help reduce the number of biopsies we need to do. This was a meta-analysis looking at about 15 different studies of MRI and active surveillance, and it encompassed over 2,000 men. And what you can see here was the positive.